Yeah. What? Production on fire? What happened here? Yeah. I hope you'll never get such a message. Let's be perfectly honest. Nobody likes working under pressure. Especially fixing something on production system. Preventing is better than fixing. Let's get back to the main topic. If you want to know what's going on on your production systems, there is a simple solution. There is a service in AWS that shows you everything. You don't have to add advanced analytics for this. You can just use AWS CloudTrail for free. Hmm, what is CloudTrail? CloudTrail is a service that collects information about what's happening in your AWS account. Thanks to this, you can find out how the failures happened. This will allow you to quickly locate the problem and fixing. You will find out who logged in and what they did. Every time when someone changed the infrastructure, for example firewall setting or just stopping EC2, then this event will be recorded. CloudTrail create event logs and keep them for free for 90 days. You can check if any of your users are having login problems, because you know many unsuccessful logins from strange RP address may indicate an attempted brutal force attack. On production systems, of course it's a good idea to send copy of these logs to another account with more restricted access. Cost of storing such of logs depends on their size. I recommend create a lifecycle rule for cleaning these logs. How long should you keep these logs? Okay, this is usually determined by contracts or people from security team, but if you are not limited by this, it's a good practice to keep them for at least a one year. However, this is a recommendation, not requirement. Just keep them as long as you need them. How much does AWS CloudTrail cost? AWS CloudTrail is available in free tier. As I mentioned, storing information for 90 days is free. If you want to keep logs longer than 90 days, then better check the price. Okay, but it's worth using AWS Cloud Trail? From my perspective, of course, it's good to know what's going on on your AWS account when you are not there. It's good to know the service, because you know, in production, in real life, you just need to know them. It's one of these AWS servers that is worth knowing. It's good to know how to use it. By the way, if you have trays created, it's much easier to analyze data using CloudWatch, or just inside, or Athena, or something else. But this is material for a completely different video. Don't miss the next episode. Subscribe the channel.